So this is a, a really exciting day for the city of Palm Bay. I've had uh, a number of folks come up to me and say, you know, I, I didn't think we'd ever get here. And I, I think that's not really true because I think all of us that are here today really did think that we'd get here because it's, it's possible, we made it happen. And um, I wanted to say that, that I think we're here today especially because we work together. This project really is a, a testament to what can be accomplished through cooperation and teamwork. And you know, without a doubt, I think almost all of you here have played some role in making the project happen. And so for me, this really is all about great government because we have worked together to start a, a transportation project that our community needs and that is critically important to the residents of Palm Bay and that will also serve residents of other communities. So it's not just about us. I mean, it's kind of cool and it's fun to be first, but we're just as excited about what Brevard County is doing immediately to the north of us and we're grateful that they're our partner and that they're working with us to make the project happen to, and to provide even better service to our community. So for me, I'm really proud of what we've done working together. Standing where you guys are sitting and standing, this is the beginning of the parkway. You are standing in the um, way it's going to go two and a half miles north and the extensions of, Palm, of Pace Drive and, and Emerson Drive will be extended over to the parkway. Eventually it's going to go to the north. We're working with the county and hopefully the county will be able to, um, to make that happen in the next uh, couple of years to get that construction started as well. So uh, we're really um, hopeful that that's going to happen. We'll have that connection up to 192. A few things just to add about the project here. It's a 12.1 million dollar project uh, budget that we have and we've been very grateful to get uh, funding from from a few different sources. Um, Seven and a half million is going to be coming to us from uh, SU funding. It's federal funding. Uh, Four million uh, from a grant from the um, economic a Department of Economic Opportunity and then the remaining portion will be funded with our transportation impact fees. And we're really excited. We've got a great contractor, Community Asphalt, that's going to be doing the construction work. It's a design build project. So we have Keith and Schnars that will be completing uh, the design uh, that was originally started with BSE Consultants. I'll be brief, but you know the only word that comes to mind is finally we're here. Yeah. When I served on a city council at the time uh, I served with John and uh, I think Donna Brooks, Pat Woodard, and I remember Pat always uh, said, well, I don't care what you do, just build a dirt road. Well, Pat, here's the beginning of a dirt road right now. We got it. So, <laughs> so um, uh, like John said, nobody can take credit for this. This has been an enormous undertaking by hundreds and hundreds of people. The cooperation from TPO and other city council members. I'll, I'll tell you, anybody that, that uh, is on Palm Bay City Council now, or in the past know that we've had the support of Melbourne, uh, uh, West Melbourne, Melbourne Village, uh, people from Titusville, and I'm going to tell you, one first step gets things rolling, and I, I'm going to say, uh, Ms. Twig said something about groundbreaking in, in two years, that's worst case scenario, as county staff just cringes right now, because we're going to move faster than that, and I think we have some exciting announcements in the next month, right John, hopefully. Um, so lobby the other commissioners and say whatever Anderson wants, give it to them. I just want to say Northwest Palm Bay thanks everyone that had the tiniest little bit of help in this. We finally have another way out of Northwest Palm Bay and we are so grateful. Uh, people in our HOA have said, I'll never live to see this. And the answer we gave them was, do it for the next generation. Well, we are so happy in Northwest Palm Bay. We are working, walking on air right now. 22 years we've been working for this road. So thank you to everybody who had even the little bit part of it. This is great news. Sue said when the parkway was finished, she was going to retire and quit. <laughs> and I said, oh my God, because she's been working on this project for? Oh, 22 years. 22 years. <laughs> So it's going to come to pass where it's going to get done. But Bob at the last TPO meeting turned around and said, what are we going to do? He said, it's going to need extensions. It's going to need more throughway. She's just going to have to stay on until it's totally done. So on a sheer technicality, so you're here for a lot longer than you planned on. Bittersweet, that is today. I can't tell you <clears throat> how many years I've traveled up to uh, like so many of us, up to Melbourne to work. 
and be five minutes late and how many times I got to say, well, if we just had the parkway, I'd be on time. Sorry. <laughs> so it looks like we won't have that excuse anymore. Now, this has been an incredible journey. And uh, I know most of you probably played the game Jenga. And so this whole process has been kind of like building that Jenga. One wrong move and the whole thing falls apart. But uh, we did it carefully. It took a long time to do it. And I know there's some people that uh, we've been recognizing all throughout this uh, process. I think we also need to recognize uh, the book, Ron Book Office. Um, big, important uh, final leg of the funding for this project was because of Mr. Book. So I wanted to make sure he was recognized. This is the man. This is one of the... <laughs> Mr. Farrell, um, today's a very special day. We've got some more work to do to the north. And uh, so without any further ado, Mr. Farrell. I remember talking to Joe Wickham about this a long time ago and some others, but uh, it's amazing. And I want to give a lot of credit to Commissioner Anderson in his office and all the county commissioners because they worked so hard. And Sue Hahn, you know, was with the TPO, now she's the uh, city manager, but she knows this project and she knew the needs. This is a great need and it's going to be a system. And it's going to, the, the dream and vision of the parkway is to circulate traffic. Now I've driven on the dirt roads from uh, the county park to 192 in seven and a half minutes. And I've been down here on the other roads and it takes an hour, maybe 45 minutes if you're lucky. But a lot of the traffic congestion and, and this will help a lot of things and if we just had it when we had these fires in Palm Bay, if you remember that for hurricane evacuation and many things, but it's just an important thing economically because they're different job clusters. We're gonna bring business and job clusters, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be a benefit besides just the transportation element. But in Palm Bay, you have to travel in these circuitous routes in West Melbourne, and this is gonna help alleviate a lot of this. The connectivity is important. But last week, it was a very sad thing. I was up at Vieira and there was a huge wreck. And Stadium Parkway is part of this parkway system in Vieira. And Washingtonia is part of it and Jones Road. So we have to connect some dots, but a lot of this is already built. So it's just a vision to put it all together. And the staff, Bob Com and, and, and the TPO people have been tremendously helpful and all the city council people have been so supportive. And, the, and it's a public-private partnership. We're all trying to pull this together to have a better, better transportation destiny. And it's a real exciting thing today. But it was, wouldn't have been possible. The, the ladies uh, from 41 out here, I mean, they were a big part of it. They had to testify and, and talk to people. It's been a great effort. We've had to hold our hands and pull together. And I want to thank everyone here you know, for helping all of us. It's, it's a community effort, and, a, and a, it, it's gonna involve the whole county. This thing will probably be 150 miles long, because part of it's designed in Farmington, up in, up in uh, Titusville, and we're talking Indian River County, so it's gonna be a very interesting situation. Thank you. And so without further ado, we've got a bunch of shovels, a bunch of folks taking pictures and videos, so uh, let's break ground. Thanks, everybody. Okay, one, two, three. It started out as a big idea parkway wrapping around the geographic boundaries of Palm Bay and South Brevard, connecting to neighboring cities that would make traveling through here faster, easier, and safer. But like most big ideas, it would take some time and money to make it happen. Hi, I'm Elliot Twig, Public Works Director for the City of Palm Bay, and I'm happy to say after 20 plus years of planning, the big idea is now officially under construction. 
Where I'm standing is the beginning of the new Palm Bay Parkway. Phase one begins at the west end of Malabar Road and heads north to Emerson Drive, nearly two and a half miles of what one day will be a 22 mile parkway wrapping around our city. The $12.1 million investment for phase one includes the design, construction, and construction administration. The city will be using federal funds, a grant from the Department of Economic Opportunity, and transportation impact fees to fund the parkway, with the first phase due to be complete spring of 2014. The new roadway will help alleviate traffic in Palm Bay's northwest area. In the next few years, it's anticipated to have this segment extend up to 192, which will connect Palm Bay with Melbourne and West Melbourne. The parkway will not only improve traffic flow, but it will also be a future evacuation route. The city selected Community Asphalt and Keith and Schnars as the design build team for the design and construction of Phase 1, and Target Engineering as the CEI firm for the construction management and inspection services. The design is based off the original design from BSE Consultants. Keith and Schnars will complete the design of the parkway up to the north city limit and will include the final design of Emerson Drive and Pace Drive Extension. Community Asphalt will construct the parkway from Malabar Road to Emerson Drive and will construct the Emerson Drive and Pace Drive Extensions. Future expansion plans have it eventually wrapping around South Brevard, starting at a new interchange proposed at Ellis Road near Melbourne and West Melbourne and ending at another new interchange near Palm Bay's southern city limits. Funding for the South Interchange is in the Florida Department of Transportation's five-year work plan, so the city is currently working with the landowners for the design and construction of the South Parkway Access Road. Palm Bay is excited. This segment of the project is finally breaking ground. We want to thank everyone that made this a reality, not just for Palm Bay, but for all of Brevard County.